<clears throat> well, hey, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So, Leo, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what the uh, oracles have in store for you. And then we're going to clarify the uh, clarify it with the tarot. Let's get into it. So this is going to be for Leo. This is for Leo. I am going to shuffle regularly with the tarot, but not with these. Oh, look at this. Pay attention to your dreams. You want to know what this means? Some of you guys are too distracted. Very much so. You're very distracted. There's things that you're wanting. There's things that you guys are wanting to go after, but you're being distracted by other stuff. So pay attention to your goals. And yes, yeah, some of you guys are dreaming, but I feel like that has, I don't know, for some reason it hit me as pay attention to your goals, what you're wanting. Don't be so distracted by the external, right? You guys are very spiritual right now, so pay attention. This is about your awareness. Awareness is what I'm hearing to certain things. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's two-faced. Mm -hmm. This could be a lover, friend, family member, okay? <laughs> you may become aware of this person's intentions and their behaviors, that type of thing. Yeah. Some of you guys don't even know, all right? Oh, this is a very strong feeling for someone. Someone is obsessing over someone here. It says this is this is infatuation and obsession. Now, I do feel like there's a, there's some type of either you're wanting someone a lot or really bad or someone is really wanting you. Okay. This is going to be for Leo. 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 Oof. Whatever this is, this is strong. It's like fire coming off of that card here. Who is that for? Leo? Who is that for? Who are you guys thinking about like that? Could it be a Virgo? Something could happen during Virgo season. Okay. Time out. Someone is, I feel like somebody is getting cut away. <laughs> somebody is getting cut off. Or they could have already gotten cut off. Okay. There's something that's weighing being, that's very heavy on your shoulders here. Drop the weight. Drop it. Whatever it is that's heavy. You know, just even if you have to put it down for a second, just be able to breathe. Remember, I told you about your distractions. You guys are very much distracted by some things. Like, it's like you're like, okay, so I'm going to write down what I'm going to do. You guys have all of these things in mind, but then you never, you never follow through. With some, with some things you follow through, but it doesn't happen the way you want. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I got the cards served the wrong way. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle again. Something could happen by Virgo season. An invitation is coming. There is some type of phone call, some type of message here. So funny. This is, I'm about to shuffle, but this is at the bottom. A message is coming that you do not want to hear. Oof. For some, it is. Let's see. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. There's a lot of mercurial Mercury energy, mercur mercurial <laughs> energy that's coming in. Now, remember, it says that the message just fell on the floor. The message that's coming in, you don't want to hear, regardless of what it is, be it, just take a chill pill. It's okay. You guys are protected, okay? Another one that came out over here is phone call changes everything. That's I'm telling you, that's what I'm seeing. This actually happened for um, Gemini. Gemini had a lot of messages, phone calls, um, news, that type of thing. Same thing. You guys are getting it too. Something that you guys are going to be seeing, watching. This could be on a world level. This could be on a personal level. But a lot of changes with everyone. A lot, a lot of changes. And again, like I said, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. A lot of communication. We have, I think we have retrogrades coming. So um, yeah, I think a lot of you guys are going to be affected by that. Uh, but it could be communication with someone who's uh, completely infatuated, constantly obsessing, obsessing, thinking about you. You could be thinking about someone or wanting to go after someone. It could be a Virgo. It could be in Virgo season. It could be any other earth sign, water sign, fire sign, air sign. But something is going to change here. 
something is going to change by some type of communication. But let's go ahead. Let's get pay attention to your dream. So I feel like that's your focus. So like, let's see what it's saying for Leo. Oh, some of you guys can't focus because you're thinking about your past. Mm, obsessive thinking here with the devil card. There could be this very strong connection, a strong bond that you have with someone. Mm -hmm. Let's get 777. What have you become aware of? Knight of Wands. Someone has become aware. This is you. Somebody's going to go after something. It could have been, this is contemplation too, right? You need a time to think, time out. Someone has been in a time out. Maybe because there has been unruly behavior. Maybe someone couldn't figure out what they wanted to do. Maybe they were making hasty decisions, moving too fast, okay? Someone isn't being honest or they weren't honest, okay? Let's get two-faced it. Somebody's hiding their love. Ten of Cups. Someone isn't being honest. Oof. King of Wands. Someone is pretending to maybe just be a friend or pretending that they're not hurt and they really are hurt. I, I really do see someone is like really sad on the inside, but on the outside, they put on a happy face. Like, yeah, just like that clown from um, Joker. <laughs> Two faced it really. Let's get this infatuation and obsession. Before they may have been, you know, they were out here in these streets again, pretending to be something that they're not. Now they're really trying to pretend to be something that they're not because there's guilt here. I feel a lot of guilt. I feel a lot of overthinking, that type of thing. Wow, it is love. This is secret love. A lot of secret love. I feel like this could be very divine for a lot of you. Maybe it was some type of lesson with a karmic that you guys were in love with, but I see a lot of new love coming in. I see a lot of happiness, a lot of new. And it could be with someone that you knew in this past life. It could be actually a soulmate with that Six of Cups. Let's get that Virgo card. Something happening in Virgo season, which is coming up. Look at this here with the Hierophant. Keep the faith. Things are going to change. How do we know? Here with the Fool card. Someone could be coming in you know, wanting forgiveness in a way. They're not going to say, hey, forgive me, but maybe they want it. Maybe they're feeling guilty. We saw that 10 of wands. Someone could have regrets about something. There is some secrets. Someone is hiding the way they feel. Let's get this time out. I think it's been some time. You guys may not have even talked in a while. Hear what? Yes, before somebody needed, this is clarity because truthfully that night is sitting, hitting that, what was it? What was that? Uh, seven, seven, yeah, yeah, seven. Someone was running away from the truth here. Something that they received, maybe received a download or something here. But I do feel like um, this was about um, them knowing that they didn't give you what you deserve and about you going after what you deserve, okay? Because this is a lot of change. Let's get an invitation that's coming. Could be you could be giving it or someone could be giving it to you. Yeah, I see opportunities here. Even when it comes down to money, something that's going to make you really happy. Oh yeah, here with the page of pentacles, something that you're definitely about to get, whether with money, finances, or communication for someone from your past or some type of new soulmate. Woof. Wow, really good, Leo. This is amazing. I'm kind of going through this video pretty fast because it's just flowing. Let's get this angel protection. Let's see. Now I have the nine of pentacles. So a lot of you guys are single. Okay. Some of you guys are feeling, um, maybe you may feel a little um, unsafe when you're out by yourself, especially if you're the divine feminine, you may feel that way. You know, oh, look at this. This is, if this is not just about protection, which you guys have, this is really a, about a divine connection here with this lover's card because this is single. Be careful out here dealing with people, okay? Because you may be dealing with different people who want you. Oh, I heard a lot from that. Someone is coming towards you. That is a fact. Look at this. Knight of Swords. Very quickly here. 
something is going to change. We see it with this phone call. Something is about to change here. The chariot talks about moving. All of this is falling up under this ace. There is going to be maybe... This could be with someone new. Okay, you guys already know. But if it's someone from the past, same thing. Oof, this is going to be pretty deep. Let's get this phone call changes everything. Phone call that changes everything. Look at this. Knight of Cups is clarifying that. At the bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. I feel like this is an offer with a job for a lot of you. And for others, this really is romance. It just depends. But I really do see that there's going to be something that you guys are going to be receiving here. That Ace of Cups is overflowing abundance. So we're going to find out. This is amazing. Holy moly. <laughs> but this is what I have for you, Leo. Um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, every uh, all the information is inside the description box. If you guys um, are new, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, this is amazing. I'll see you guys back here soon. Bye, Leo.